Moon Moon fans, this is Teresa Fowler from Moon's Zone, Missouri. Welcome to my home. Today is Cow Days and we're going to be heading down into town in a few minutes to uh, show you what's going on. So stay tuned. Watching the Moons Over Missouri at Dixon, Missouri for Cow Days, and I'm your host, Rhonda Trout. And with me is my twin sister, Teresa Fowler. Hi, everyone. And we are looking at all the new vendors here today, and we have, of course, this new vendor, and you are? Dana Limefiller with Running Wild Barbecue. Excellent. And where are you from? We're from Garden City, Missouri. Garden City, Missouri. And is this is your first time in Dixon, Missouri? It is, yes. Well, we're glad to have you. Thank you. So, Teresa, why don't you ask her what her goodies are? Uh, your business is called Running Wild Barbecue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. What are some of your best uh, products? Well, we're known for our loaded fries, which is a pile of fries with pork on top of that and cheese on top of that. And it is really yummy and it's, it's a huge meal in and of itself. And then we have our two pound turkey leg. And oh, it is. Having some of that. Yeah, it is yummy and it's really tender. And most of the time they just fall right off the bone. But all of our sandwiches come with a side. And then we have um, our smoked hamburger, smoked chicken, and racks of ribs, of course, and meat by the pound if you're interested. So wow, we right. pretty much cover the whole gamut of the barbecue. That well, certainly right smells right. good. Yeah. And I'm going to get me that turkey leg you just watched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you can get down here and get some. Uh, we, got, we came with freezers full, so we got plenty. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending sure. time with us. Thank it was you. nice meeting you. Nice Come to meet you, too. Show. Thank you. One. Hi there. As promised, I have the turkey leg. Look at the size of that sucker. And they t promised me that it was going to be fall off the bone good. It looks fall off the bone good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's see if I can take a bite out of this and not hit my big sore mouth. <laughs> I can't even get my mouth around it. Take two. <laughs> Let's try it this way. Mm. Mm. How's it taste? Oh, it's good. Need a little salt though? No, I know I'm not supposed to have that much salt in my diet. But it's really good and tender. Not quite falling off the bone yet, but that's probably just as well or I'd have it all over my front. <laughs> so there you have it. The Big Turkey Leg, Dick's Missouri, Cow Days. Come on down. Three, two, one. Hey Moonsies, this is Teresa Fowler from Moons over, uh, Moons over Missouri. My turn to get into the turkey. It's delicious, and Ron is right, it needs salt, but with our high blood pressure, we probably don't need the salt. So here goes. And it fits your mouth. Hallelujah. Mm. Well, my mouth's bigger than yours, so. Okay, you said it first. Mm-hmm, that's what I did, I'm proud to say it. <laughs> so if you haven't been to Cow Days, you need to come on day. Down. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock, we're going to have our big parade. We'll be covering that, too. Stay tuned. Hi, Moons fans. We're at Cow Days, and here with us we have... Mr. Tater, Tater Man. Tater Man. Why don't you tell us about your little uh, uh, food bin here? Well, I started this about eight years ago okay. when I retired. Rodeo and I rodeo for 35 years, so I need to tell you. Rodeo? Oh, that's awesome. Now, what did you do at the rodeo? Well, my ex wife used to say I was, I'm sorry, but I was a smart ass with the <laughs> I was the funny man. What a coincidence. We're assholes with the fuck microphone, too. <laughs> I, I, I was the funny man. That's the comedy, did the comedy. Okay. Put on the acts and all that stuff. So, why don't you tell us about what you have cooking here in your large, beautiful grill? That's not mine. That's, That's not yours, I'd say. <laughs> everything, everything I do is all good for you. It's all deep fried. Okay. Everything I do is deep fried. Now, I see here you have fried chicken, fried Oreos, and fried Twinkies. Tell us about the Twinkies. Yes, I will eat one just for you. <laughs> and fried s'mores. Now, tell me about the fried green olives. That's got to be challenging. That is exactly what it is. The green olives that I dip in a homemade batter. I make all my batter from scratch. I make homemade from scratch all my batter. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fried cookie dough. How does that work? 
Or I'm about sold out today. <laughs> I went through about five pounds of chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, no. And you're about out. I'm about out. Okay. I'll have more. All I'll right. Have more. So how does that work without it melting? Yeah, very quickly. Very my fryer, quickly. My fryer cooked it. And I cook it at 450 degrees. Okay. And it, and it never cools off. It's pretty quick. Blooming onion petals and ribbon tears. Potato is a real thin spiral cut potato, whole bacon potato. It's spiral one whole spiral, and then I smother it with cheese. Oh, oh yum, yum. They said the magic word. The blooming onion petals. What I do is if you still get the whole onion and don't bloom, I tear the whole onion apart. That way, all you do is pick a petal up, dip it in the homemade sauce I make, and eat it. You know, I just sit there and work, try to tear it apart. Well, that yes, is great. Right. We sure had fun talking to you today. A cow patty, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's not a hamburger. Have you ever been out in Cowfield? Yes, I have. I sweeten them up. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, I call it a cow patty. It's the official redneck funnel cake. Oh, a redneck funnel cake. I take a jumbo honey bun, dip it in my homemade sweet batter, deep fried toast, with powdered sugar, and cinnamon, and it looks like a cow patty. That's how I got it. Well, we're going to have to compare the two. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. So we sure had fun talking to you about this. Right. Why don't you try me up a cow patty? Right, I can do it. Thank you. You bet. Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Teresa. And today we are comparing two different delicacies that you can find at Cow Day. Now, here we have the original funnel cake. And what we got on there? We got powdered sugar and brown uh, cinnamon. Okay. And this one is called the cow patty, spelled K-O-W. And we have powdered sugar on there that looks awesome. So we're going to compare the two and see if if we like one or the other, or just both. Yeah. Probably say both so we don't hurt anybody's feelings. Now yeah, this has got Twinkies in it. Oh, it does. Let me break into that. Let me see. Is this a knife? Yes, thank God it's a knife. All right. Nice and hot. Get a close-up of that. You can see the inside of it. Okay. Yeah. And of course, you know, that's what a funnel cake looks like. All right. The typical so. staple. It's good. Of course it is. Of course it is. Mm. 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 I didn't know cow patties tasted this good. Mm. 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 Give me a bite. You know, it's a dangerous thing to ask me. <laughs> you go, you want me to feed you too? Yep. Uh, I was waiting for you to hang on to that fork. Mm. The filling is not hot and it's not melty, it's just just right. Mm. Mm. Of course, I gotta have that funnel cake too. Mm. Mm. What very looks right off. Oh. Hands down, I think the fried Twinkie is the best of the two. That's not a Twinkie. I think you said that was a cinnamon bun. Oh, the cinnamon bun. That's right. I'm sorry. Right. The cinnamon bun is moist, delicious. I want another bite of it. And the, the funnel cake is good, too. It's your, it's your typical fe festival uh, treat. Oh, but definitely the cow patch one, our comparison. Come in Here's our local train. Don't you love it? Put your camera there. You want a bite? <laughs> no? Okay. I'll take it for you. And cut. Stay tuned for more stuff. <laughs> One, go. Hi, this is Teresa Fowler of Moons Over uh, Missouri, and with me today is Chuck. Okay, and why don't you tell us a little bit of what's going on here today? Well, we do these little car bash days for uh, raise money for our club and stuff like that. We do a lot of charity stuff. We do events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so that's cool. I hope I can hear you because my camera can't. <laughs> Let's try a cut two. Okay. Want to Let's do this again, but I need you to speak louder. Okay. And three and two and one a little closer. Three, two.
two, one, I'm, this is already recording, just go. Okay. Hi, this is Teresa Fowle of Moons Over Missouri, and with me today is... Rock Hamblers, Pallet from Missouri. Okay. And today they have this beat the car thing at Dixon Cow Games. And what do the proceeds go to? Oh, uh, they just go to the club and like for donations for the Missouri and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Lunch out for the Yeah. I understand that you also feed the troops at Thanksgiving? Yeah, we do uh, Thanksgiving. Um, from St. Roberts, they come down and we help them out with the food and some of the food uh, food Great. And that's going to be a car I just beat up on. You can get yours. Five for a dollar. Come on down to Cow Day. Go. Hey, this is Teresa Crowell of Moonville, Missouri. And I'm going to show you what I do when people mess with my coffee. I'm going to my coffee pot. Wash my coffee mug. Sit and run and out to get my creamer. Break something off. You're not hitting it like you hate it. Sit and buy coffee. <laughs> what do you mean we're out of coffee? <laughs> I think that was five. <laughs> that was fun. All right, and let's end this with a happy note. A warning. Buy me coffee or else. Yeah. And what's our slogan? Slurp it, don't choke it. That was four. Oh, did I miscount? <laughs> hey, you keep that one, buddy. She wants, she wants, she wants to take your picture, though, while you're twinning. Is that okay? Right. And hit that, that car hit like, like you, you really it. hate it.
two, one, go. Hi, this is Teresa Fowler with Moons Open Missouri. And with me today is Rhonda Maddox from the Dixon Chamber of Commerce. Rhonda, we heard this rumor. This is supposed to be the last cow day. And we really hope that you can set it straight for us people in Dixon and people who are watching. Absolutely. This is definitely not the last cow days. This is the 30th, and it's one to definitely end an era. Um, probably our biggest cow days yet. It's very important to carry on that long-term tradition. Uh, we do have a plea for some new blood to come in. Some of us that have been here 12, 15, 20 years are ready to kind of step back and come up and sit down for a while during cow days and watch the show. Uh, cow days will continue, but the advancement and the popularity of cow days depends on enough volunteerism and enough people to step up, take on a committee, maybe it's their favorite project, maybe it's their favorite hobby, get some new blood going, get some fresh faces, and we're ready to sit back and enjoy the next 30 years to go. That's awesome. You know that Dixon High School has an A-plus program, right? And they got the volunteerism. Mm -hmm. That might be something to hit up next year. And they do. The A-plus program does help us. They help us. Oh, they have great. volunteers. We have so many school programs, and that's what's important about Cow Days. We have school programs, small businesses, large businesses, and um, homestead atmospheres that come and are able to make money by selling us bargains on the street. So it's a win-win situation with us. And there's organizations, almost every organization at the school either cleans during cow day, several volunteer their time, they have booths, they help with trash pickup, they help with take up, um, tear down, and uh, even even to the porta potty. Mm -hmm. uh, we could not run cow days if it wasn't for the kids in the area and their support and their help and the educators. That's great. We have a great support system from the school district. And that's why we continue. We like to see those smiling faces. Well, that's wonderful. So this is Teresa Fowler with Moons of Missouri. And volunteerism is what keeps this town going. Absolutely. And here we have it at the end of Cow Days. Beautiful night. Everybody's having lots of fun, lots of food, lots of drinks. And as promised, I had the proverbial fried Twinkie. And boy, does it look good. And here we go. Oh my God, I think I just died and gone to heaven. Anyway, we sure had fun at Cow Days. We ate turkey. We had the, the, uh, the, tur the, the cow patty. The cow patty. And now the Twinkie. If you haven't been to Cow Days, you need to come down. Because we sure had a great fun, and guess what? The good news is, Cow Days is here to stay. Dispel the rumors, because there is no more rumor. The truth is, Cow Days is here to stay. We had fun. See you soon.